Picture this, you're scrolling through Amazon searching for the perfect product. Suddenly a captivating video catches your eye, showcasing a brand that resonates with your needs and desires. It's engaging, informative, and simply irresistible. So what type of ad is this? That's sponsored brand videos. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create these campaigns, best practices, and six tips to make your video ads stand out. So if you want to increase your chances of creating a category dominant video ad, stay tuned. I'm Rick Wong, an Amazon seller and founder of Seller Metrics, an Amazon marketing agency. If you're interested in content such as this one, where we talk about the latest Amazon FBA news, tips, and hacks, I invite you to subscribe. So let's begin with um, you know, where the sponsor brand video shows up. So you can see on the Amazon search result I have here. So I have like the wood cutting board, so very standard product. If you actually shift all the way down, in the middle of the scroll, you see the video ads like right here. So that is like where uh, one of the areas where the video ads would reside. And then there's also the in product ad. So you actually click on the actual, this product right here and go into this product listing. If you scroll all the way down, there is video ads within the product listing page itself. If you actually scroll all the way down to here, you see the sponsored. These are sponsored uh, brand video uh, product targeting ads. So it's targeting a specific uh, product listing. The third place that it appears, and this is relatively new, is top of search. You see this for the brawn uh, beard trimmer right here. It's, yeah, it's occupying like an amazing like area of the search results. So this is a relatively new uh, video ad placement, and I'll show you how do you actually create this uh, type of ad in the later parts of this, this video. Okay, so you know why video is king. So it's very important that you, um, as an Amazon seller, create uh, a video ad for your product because a uh, video ad just performs better. It just catches the, you know, the viewer's attention. It's a scroll stopper, right? Because you know, amongst in Amazon, right, in the search results, it's very easy to just scroll through everything because all the results maybe like looks the same, right? As you can see on the results, before I actually scroll down, basically all the results looks the same with the white background, very similar product. Nothing stands out other than the fact like maybe like the pricing. So maybe uh, a product is like a lot cheaper than others or maybe like a special discount. Other than that, it's really hard to make your product stand out. So with a video ad, you could really stop the scroll if your creative is good enough. So you can see this one right here. Okay, this is quite interesting. You see like see a person with a beard and have like a pretty nice creative, it would stop the scroll. A person will stop and you know, look, give it like an extra two or three seconds for this particular ad versus the other ones. So that is the reason why the sponsor brand video is very important to an Amazon seller's Amazon advertising campaign. And, um, and in terms of performance, uh, video, a sponsored uh, brand video campaigns, does like around uh, 2x much better in terms of ROI than uh, regular regular ads. So for example, my average sponsored product campaigns, maybe like 40% ACoS, but my average sponsored brand video campaigns is around 20% ACoS. So the, in terms of performance, it's much better, right? And it does occupy like a huge portion of the space, right? Like the entire row right here. And if you actually look into mobile, right? You scroll through it, it occupies a larger section of the scroll as well. Okay, so let's talk about how we uh, actually set this up. So to set this up, you actually will go to your ad console, right? And then you're gonna create like create campaigns and then you're gonna go to sponsor brands. Remember, for any sponsor brand campaign, you need to be brand registered. So that would mean that your logo or trademark need to be registered with a trademark or IP organization uh, for a particular government. And uh, for US, that would be the USPTO. And keep in mind that if you actually want to register your trademark or logo, it would take like between like six to 12 months in my experience. Um, so you probably want to maybe uh, make sure that you give yourself sufficient time to apply for that before you want to use the sponsored brand feature or other um, brand registered features within Amazon. So if you actually want to sell on Amazon, I suggest you to actually figure out your um, logo trademark situation way ahead of time before first launching your product. So to actually create that campaign, as I mentioned, go to sponsor brands and then on the sponsor brands. So you're gonna, I'm going to select like a random budget. So $20 and then I would just do the brand that I want to advertise solely. And then the next part is that you are going to want to click on videos, right? So in this part, 
it tells you would you actually want uh, to, the landing page to be a store or a product detail page. The product detail page, you can only select one product. A store, basically, it lands in either one of your storefronts, right? So for me, let's just try a storefront. Um, baby monitor mount. And the storefront will show up on the top of search, like right over here. While if it's a landing page, right, like a product uh, detail page, you could only get this like placement in the middle right here. So I feel like this particular uh, combination, video and storefront, as like a landing for a particular page, it's a very good um, set of uh, campaign, a new ad spot for you to like really test. As you can see, like not only you get like a premium area of the search result, which is like top of top of the top of the search, right, which is like much higher um, placement than your sponsored products. And not only that, you actually get like a big piece of veto ad placement on it. So totally premium. I would suggest that for anyone that is not using this ad type should go for it right now. So um, I am going to uh, select a few keywords. Um, so doo -doo -doo. I'm going to go for uh, baby monitor shelf. The bid seems pretty high. So I want to probably limit that. Uh, let's just go to Maybe wall mounts. Let's go for these um, keywords. Um, it's a little high. Uh, I'm going to put like maybe $2.50. And then uh, the next part is your ad creative. So your ad creative, you need to make sure that uh, your ad creative covers the following specs. Uh, so let me select an ad creative. So you can see like your ad creative, right? It needs to be of this particular specs. The aspect ratio here is 16 by nine and uh, other specs as well. You know, it has to be an MP4, um, the length, cannot be uh, longer than 45 seconds. I suggest you to use the full 45 seconds. You know, if your product uh, has like unique USP than the rest of your competitors, make sure that you list that out in the video as well. The language must be of the ad locale. So in my case, I'm actually creating a sponsor brand video in the .com, so that would be English. Uh, and then there's also the bit rate and also the stereo. Um, so I think if you're using like designer, make sure that they follow these specific specs. So for me, I've already probably have like a video in place. So I'm gonna select uh, this one right here. And uh, you can see like how it looks like, right? Basically this is the creative on the top of the search, right? So that would be this one right here. So you can see like this is like a sponsor brand banner with a video in it. Yeah, so there we go. So basically it takes you to my Amazon storefront right here. As I mentioned, your ad will show up in a few placements. So the video ad that I'm creating right now is for uh, keyword targeting. But if you want to have your video ads appear on a product listing page, then you would select a product targeting right here. So interesting enough, you could actually have it uh, go into a particular storefront as well for a product targeting ad for this. Um, so for me, like, let's just do like keyword targeting for now. And uh, let's let's create a proper name for it. So keyword, and then this one would be a landing page. So it will be going to a particular landing page. Also important to have like proper naming convention when you scale out your ads. Um, you know, I do have like another video talking about, um, you know, proper uh, Amazon PPC um, campaign structure. So if you create like maybe hundreds of like campaigns, very important that you name it out uh, properly. Okay, headline, you need to add a headline actually. Oh, and then the product page. Okay, so that would be this one. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so you are gonna click submit for review. And uh, yeah, that's how you create a sponsor brand video campaign. So lastly, I just wanna talk about uh, tips for creating a very good video ad. Ones that, number one, captures the attention and also convert, right? So with any ad copy, you need to first capture attention, stop the scroll on Amazon, right? And then uh, trying to convert with a proper messaging. So uh, in my experience, there's really five elements of your video ads that is very important. So number one, make sure that uh, first five to 10 seconds captures the attention. So number one would be capture the attention. Number two, add subtitles. Number three, benefits. Number four, elicit emotion for your product. And lastly, number five, CTA. So that would be call to action in your video. 
right? So let's talk about number one, um, capture the attention in the first five uh, to 10 seconds. As you know, like on Amazon, you know, the user quickly scroll through to find your product. So what you need to do is that you need to do something to make sure that they are engaged and interested and stop the scroll. So in the example that I showed you earlier in midpoint, you see like this like lady just dancing around here, right? Uh, I would say this video ad would be pretty bad um, if it's without the women dancing around in it. Uh, you can see like it's very, um, it's really normal, right? Um, basically, before the woman blends it, like the eyes actually blends into like the other search result. All of a sudden, you see like a, a woman dancing around uh, with the actual uh, product. That kind of, I know that is a very cheesy way to like actually stop the scroll, but it does the trick, right? Basically, um, it seems like it's a very low budget way to uh, stop the scroll, but it achieved the objective of stopping the scroll, right? There's a different, more expensive way to do it. Uh, there's more sleazy and cheesier way to do it. I remember I looked in an ad where there's like a woman, um, you know, with pretty big bus that would, um, you know, drop in on the ad. And obviously, you know, as a male, you know, you, you can't help it, but like pay attention to that. So there, I've seen that. Um, I also seen like a very good um, way to stop the scroll, but it needs a very expensive budget. So I see like this person uh, going to a room, destroying everything, right? Um, so I think they, they go into like one of these like um, anger rooms where they could go in just bust everything There's like a loud sound and all and that captures their attention So obviously, you know for that video you need like a budget for you to like do that. So there's other uh, ways that um, You know you could stop um, the scroll and those are ways I actually like this way because it's like a low budget so anyone can do it um, So I actually like it. It's not too bad actually and then the second way um, would be subtitles so um when the video ads start playing, actually the video, the actual um, sound of the video ads is actually default on mute, right? So what you need to do, a lot of times when the person is shopping, they're not in a situation to hear the audio of the ad. So what you can do to kind of allow you to kind of send your message across without the audio is actually add closed caption subtitles to the actual ad itself. So this example right here, uh, this video ads, you can see like, all the subtitles for the ads. I think this is one thing that you guys, uh, anyone that creating um, sponsored brand videos should do, making sure that there uh, there's subtitles in their uh, creative, right? So the person looking at the ad don't really need to hear what's saying. And basically all the unique selling point is actually in text and it grains much easier to the audience than say an audio or you know a silent video without any subtitles. So uh, number three, uh, benefits. So you could see that also in this ad that it points out all the benefits of using this particular product, right? So it's very important that, you know, number one, you capture the attention, you show the unique selling point of your product uh, and also the benefits. So make sure that you kind of have that within like the 45 seconds of the video. And uh, number four, this might be a higher level strategy and that is to uh, elicit emotion for your product. So. Uh, OG for this would be um, squatty squatter potty right they kind of there's like this video ads that they did back in the day that was like probably the most famous um, you know digital um, video ads ever so you can see 41 million views seven years ago uh, so you can see like um, they infuse humor in it right so that's one that's the emotion of the video so you can see this video ad right you see like this unicorn is uh, basically uh, shading out rainbows so it's, it's very funny it's very unique during its times so this is uh, what you're trying to like go for elicit some emotion it could be fear of missing out like FOMO or it could be humor it could be happiness infuse some type of of emotion in it so on the baby niche i see one that is like illicit um ah shucks kind of emotion because you have like a cute baby using the product but doesn't know how to use the product right um just elicit some type of emotion with your product and the video ads so that would be number four and uh, lastly number five i think this is something that i don't see a lot of um so i can't find an example of this um but I feel like you should put like a CTA at the end of your video or in, around the end of your video. So that would be like buy now, add to cart, some type of CTA in it. So again, I have no way to kind of measure this 
in, on Amazon. But um, in my experience, uh, on my emails or anything that I did in terms of marketing, adding a CTA around the end of any marketing message does better than versus not. So I believe that um, simply adding like add to cart buy now on your end of video would probably help you in terms of conversion. And uh, lastly, I want to give a bonus tip. Uh, and uh, that is uh, look into your reviews, right? Creating like a video assets for Amazon does not have to be expensive. Case in point, uh, this one right here uh, is probably low production value, but I feel like it's very effective in terms of stopping the scroll. There is also another feature on Amazon, video builder. So on Amazon, you could actually uh, create a video ad using their function as well. But what this does is um, it basically takes all your product images and basically mesh it together as like a kind of like a video collage. So um, if you don't have the budget to create like a decent video, you could look into creating a video uh, using the Creative Tools video builder on the Amazon advertising console. It's not as good as like something that is like done with some production budget, but I feel like having a video for your Amazon advertising is better than having no video at all. And as mentioned, I just uh, forgot, I'm gonna give you a bonus tip. So bonus tip is that look into your Amazon reviews, look at what we call UGC, that would be user generated content in your Amazon review. If you find a very well liked review that is video based, you could potentially use that in your Amazon advertising. Again, like the video has to be like good and the quality has to be good as well. And so I, I can find an like, example of that, but in my previous selling experience, we used a UGC for one of our um, suction cup videos that this person reviewing it was like doing different tests on it, uh, showing how strong the grip is. And that sponsored brand video was actually my best performing ever. So it like scaled up like crazy at like 10% ACOS. So look into your Amazon reviews, something like this, right? I mean, it's like a review of the product, but I think this is not that organic. It's probably a sponsored uh, review. So I think the UGC that you get from the reviews is low on production value, but high on authenticity. So at the end of the day, there are different ways to sell your product, but authenticity is one of the key drivers of sales. Because at the end of the day, uh, we know on Amazon, there's a lot of fake reviews out there and uh, the customers just want some authenticity. And I think if you actually use uh, actual authentic uh, UGC for your uh, sponsored brand video, that should do really well. So just uh, keep that in mind. Uh, if you actually encounter like a very good UGC, that's something that you could um, maybe you, um, and leverage. Okay, so that's basically the end. So I hope that what I talked about in this video would help you take your sponsored brand video into new heights. Um, really, don't miss the extraordinary potential that Amazon sponsored brand videos. It's a game changer. I mean, it could actually maybe 2x your campaign with the right video set. So hopefully like this photo guide you through the in and outs of creating a successful campaign, you know, really unleash the power of like having a captivating video, engage your audience, and uh, basically watch your business thrive using like a sponsored brand video basically conquer Amazon one product at a time using these uh, campaigns hopefully following some of the steps in the video it could uh, help you make this happen anyways I hope that this video uh, you enjoyed and if you're an Amazon seller and want to grow your business uh, via Amazon advertising schedule a call with me in the link below until the next video drop happy selling